What if I told you that instead of taking action, crushing it, you should actually slow down? Hello, welcome to this week's Wild Spirits News. My name is Sibylla and today I'll tell you, don't speed up, slow down. Classic motivation always seems to go along the same lines. Do the thing, get shit done, take action, crush it. And we get very inspired by that. So we are super motivated for about a day or two. And then we inevitably deflate and fall off the wagon and end up feeling terrible about ourselves. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe the fault lies not with you or your attitude or your, um, you know, your willpower, but maybe with the motivational crush it attitude? Your mission today is to learn how to actually get shit done and be happier along the way. Task number one is understand the lure of motivational talk. This type of classic motivation that I mentioned is so successful because it's just so, it's really contagious. Get shit done. I mean, if you've got an unresolved emotional issue or a health issue, never mind. Just get up, get going, crush it, do the thing anyway. You'll get caught up in it and you'll feel like a hero doing it. Unfortunately, it's highly problematic and actually toxic for the exact same reasons that it is so attractive. And that is because it ignores issues. Unresolved emotional pain, for example, doesn't just go away because it's being ignored. And neither do most physical issues. Where a good attitude can help, but an ignore it attitude is seldom conducive. These things can turn inward. They find other outlets if they're being ignored and they can really get destructive. Task number two is your obstacle course. Becoming immune to this crush it attitude can resemble doing an obstacle course. And that is not because you're too undisciplined to face your, or too, too weak to face your problems, by the way. It's because constant action is very addictive. Now, I have been talking before about stress addiction. I'll put a link in the description below, so I'm not going to belabor the point here. This task is like, an, like a heads up for you to become aware and to expect this process to be difficult. Don't think, oh yeah, I'll just speed, speed uh, uh, I'll just slow down instead of speeding up. That's not, that's not difficult. Expect it to be difficult because otherwise you'll end up as just another person who said, well, I should or could slow down or meditate or whatever it is you're trying to do. It's just right now I'm too busy or right now I don't feel like it or I don't need to because I know it's good anyway. Task number three is don't speed up, slow down. So how do you get to this point of becoming immune to the aforementioned crush it attitude? I suggest a very small, short, a very doable ritual that you should repeat every day. And it goes like this. You grab a cup of something or other, like your, your preferred hot beverage, tea, coffee, or chocolate. Light a candle. Take a deep breath. Arrive, fully arrive in the moment. And then you ask yourself very gently, how are you? And then the task is just to listen. It will take a while before you hear anything other than the stereotypical answer, I'm fine, that you would give if some stranger or somebody who you don't know very well, you just meet, would ask you, how are you? The task here is the listening that I mentioned. You need to learn to really listen to yourself, deep inner listening without judgment. And if you repeat this ritual every day, after a while you will start hearing an answer. And this answer might come from your body, it might come from your soul, but in any case it will be from you and it will be authentic to you. And then, and only then, 
can you start taking action and actually becoming active? Then you can take meaningful actions, meaningful steps towards a goal, something that is that truly is meaningful to you. And that brings me to task number four. Let me know. Leave a comment below the video and tell me where you stand on this. Are you already decelerating, slowing down in your life? Are you still kind of caught in the action? Do you think you need or want the action and the crush it? You can disagree with me. That is, that is completely fine as long as you're being respectful. I will reply to every comment, I promise. And if you'd like some more, you should consider joining the community of Wild Spirits by going to wildspiritscoaching.com and filling in that little form there. You'll get one email per week. It's 100% spam free. You'll get additional information and articles, recommendations of books and other resources. And sometimes you get exclusive offers that are only for my subscribers that nobody else ever gets to see. So go to wildspiritscoaching.com and sign up or you can Google Wild Spirits Coaching. That'll get you to my website as well. Thank you for watching. 